Hi, welcome to my podcast, Talking Travel with Wendy. I travel the globe interviewing really cool people in small hospitality and tourism businesses. Join me each week as I discover and share something or someone new with you. You can find more at www.travelwithwendy.net. And remember, it's always an adventure when you travel with Wendy. Thanks so much for joining me here today. I am with Denise Taylor, Executive Director of Keep Alabama Beautiful. And I am so proud to say that we are new partners in a mission together, combined mission for Keeping Alabama Beautiful. They partner with volunteers, communities, organizations for the cleaning and beautification of this great state. So thanks, Denise. Oh, thank you, Wendy. <laughs> yeah. As you travel the state to take time to, to talk with us about how we can take care of our state, especially during our travels. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit more about the mission of Keep Alabama Beautiful. Well, Keep Alabama Beautiful has been around since the 1970s. Okay. And it is a volunteer grassroots organization it's the state affiliate for Keep America Beautiful. Okay. So our number one goal is a litter-free Alabama. Perfect. So there's no need for a litter Yay. to be. We can keep it in the car, keep Hashtag it in the boat. Hashtag keep it in the car, yes. keep it in the boat. Yes, and don't forget your trash when you visit a lovely place. <laughs> yes. Take it with you and put yeah. it where it needs to be. Uh, so that's that's our main our main objective, and then of course we do waste reduction with recycling sure. and beautification and greening efforts throughout the state. Okay, and so some of your other partnerships are uh, volunteers that say we want to help, we want to uh, partner with you. Tell me a little bit sure about like, some of those. Yeah, last year we had more than one hundred and thirty five thousand wow. people oh my who gosh. volunteered at least one time. Okay. A lot of those will, you know, they'll volunteer once a week or once a month or once a quarter. So they value where they live. Yeah. And that's a huge part of our effort. Okay. So uh, I'm sure there are other people that tell me all the time, oh, I pick, you know, I pick up when I go fishing. Thank you. But, you know, we haven't counted that person. So yeah. you know, I would think that number is a lot higher. higher. But we, the 135,000 more than yeah. 135,000 that volunteer, we appreciate the investment of their time. And we partner with government entities, mm -hmm. okay, other nonprofits, um, organizations, corporations, and with um, one of our partnerships, of course, is with the Alabama Department of Transportation okay. with the shared mission to have our roadways okay. and waterways litter-free. And a lot of that just isn't in cleanups. While we love the volunteers, and that's a huge part of the mission, um, to, to clean up in those areas, we just wish we didn't need a volunteer for cleanup. Right, right. Litter prevention education. Prevention. Yes. Okay is a, a, another effort of ours that takes focus during the year, all year long, not just during school time. Right. But uh, in getting the word out different ways for people to remember, because we know they know where to put their trash. Yeah. Just a, remind, a reminder, you know, don't forget your trash, take your trash with you, pack in, right. pack out, or at least put it um, where it where it, where it belongs yes. yeah there's there's yeah. plenty of places I've been happy that on my hiking trails like Swan Creek Trail over in mm -hmm. Athens had this wonderful recycling program on their hiking trail and that was a great thing to see just while I was out hiking because sometimes you get to the trails and they don't even have a trash can mm -hmm. for people who might have a bottle of water that they're carrying in their packs so um, I definitely think the it's such a great idea to to incorporate those as well. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah, and you know, and to know what can be recycled in the area where you are, and and of course, I'm one of the many on the list of you know thousands and thousands that if I go to a place where you can't recycle, it's coming home with me. That's right. So, uh, <laughs> but there, you know, there are just a few of those around where, and and now recycling has had a little bit of a challenge during the time the the um, virus that we're pandemic that yeah. we're living through yeah. um, but I'll, you can keep that recycle that recyclable with you until you can find a place to put it okay so and knowing what can be recycled and what can't be in your community is a huge thing as well sure um, to make sure you're not contaminating recycling yeah. so what can people find on your website 
Well, if they, they can find out how to get involved. Okay, and if, it's keepalabamabeautiful.com. Dot org. Yes, and our website is going through some updates. We've had a lot of traffic on it, so okay. <laughs> it's the never-ending website updates. Yes. <laughs> However, or you can email keepalbeautiful at outlook.org. Follow us on Instagram, Perfect. Uh, Facebook, or Twitter to find out what's going on or send us a message. That's a really quick way to get in touch okay. with us to find out how to get involved in your community. Mm-hmm. Or We get lots of requests from smaller areas in Alabama where maybe they're not incorporated but they have active volunteer groups okay where they want supplies and the supplies that we provide thanks to our partnerships with Aldot and other corporations they're free okay so as a keep it's a free program it's a free program it is a free program if you want to do a cleanup now we have communities that want to do a a substantial effort Mm -hmm. and they will become a keep America beautiful affiliate and there is a, a minimal cost to that well, to set up an organization and a, and a framework to get one started sure. there. But if you have a, a, a volunteer group and they want to do a cleanup, we'll provide the supplies. Okay. We are very fortunate through our affiliation with Keep America Beautiful to get free trash bags from GLAAD. Okay. So you'll see affiliates handing out lots Yay. of GLAAD trash <laughs> bags. We also have reusable five gallon buckets okay. that we can use. We do want to cut down on our one time use of plastics and that's, you know, that's It's part a great of it. effort. Absolutely. And we have other tools, litter getters, gloves, uh, water cleanup supplies. If you've got a kayaking group or a canoe or boating group, we can, we can give you the supplies that will make it easy for you to do cleanups in the water as well as along the shore. Okay. And it's all free. It's all free. Yeah. So why not do it? Exactly. Exactly. (laughs) Keep Alabama beautiful. Yeah. Just and you know, for the prevention side of it too, we have litter bags for your car that are reusable. Oh wow. So they're nice canvas ones, and you can attach them where it's convenient in your car. Okay. And put your trash, your recyclables in that as you're on the road, and then when you get to the place where you can properly dispose of it or recycle it you just empty it out there put the bag right back in in. they're wonderful yeah and uh, you know a long time ago when windows would roll up and roll down manually (laughs) i remember lots of those plastic bags being in cars but they were you know they would wear out yeah so now it's improved to a reusable canvas bag that's pretty good looking okay uh, for your vehicle as well and of course it can be washed and we're okay. used to um, so what's going on in the state right now? What do you have going on? Well, uh, bec- because of the timing of the <laughs> pandemic, the COVID. Spro- <laughs> the, so a lot of spring cleanups, which people usually do a lot of cleanups, lots of volunteers. We really had to regroup and find out a, a safe way to do those, and it looked very different across the state. Sure, and how those could be done with you know safety. And as we were learning more things, and now in the fall, we've had time to adjust, adapt, and overcome. Yes. We ha- cleanups are taking place all across the state. Oh, that's wonderful. So thousands of volunteers in large cities, small cities, neighborhoods, communities, oh, waterways, they are really cleaning up and if fall has become a, yeah. a big cleanup time and it's also October will be the end of a time period called the Great American Cleanup okay. for Keep America Beautiful which is as much an awareness program as it is cleanup because litter prevention is our main goal. The goal. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well that's wonderful and it's an outdoor activity so people if they have the, the fear of catching COVID or, or mm-hmm. being at risk it's Mm -hmm. outdoors outdoors. and you're helping the community and you're doing something that's good for nature as well so it it makes where you live a healthier place for Mm -hmm. you as well as for wildlife so we have found a lot of families will come and they'll pick up supplies and they might do a cleanup around their block perfect they'll clean their block or they might be going out on a hike and they want to take some things with them just in case. Okay. So they'll pick up supplies and they'll... So an individual family can, an individual can family. get equipment and kit and, and stuff too. Yes. To do their clean up your space. Yes, <laughs> yes. And so usually, you know, if they contact me, I'll send them supplies if we don't have an affiliate in that area. Mm. Or I'll point them to their closest local affiliate. Perfect. And they can get the supplies from there. 
Yeah, that is great. Yeah. Yay. Yes. Yay. Yeah. So big goal, just pick up after yourself. Yes. <laughs> Little goal, pick up your area or yeah. help pick up your area. Yeah. It, it is such and, a beautiful state, four yes. seasons out of the year. Yep. And we're here at Montesano on the mountain right now in the Japanese garden and mm -hmm. you can see all the beautiful color. So yeah, mm -hmm. let's keep it together. Yeah. <laughs> and keep Alabama beautiful That's so we it. can continue to enjoy our beautiful natural spaces. Absolutely, absolutely. Join day. us next month as we bring you more updates with Keep Alabama Beautiful. Thanks, Denise. Oh, thank you.